بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اسٹوڈنٹس ہیو سو یو گڈ فین اینڈ ہیلدی ول ان دس سیشن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا ایم فیس In 1880, there was a German biologist named as Walter Fleming. He has seen, he has observed that there was a different shapes of the nucleus. The cell is passing through a series of the events before cell division and the nucleus is changing its shape. The nucleus is basically passing from the series of the changes before going on the cell division. After the nucleus used to pass through from the series of the changes and then used to produce or divide into two cells. And he called this as a mitosis. Well, if you are going to discuss about the mitosis, then what is basically mitosis? In the mitosis, the parent cell used to produce the two daughter cells. And these two daughter cells are totally resembling to their parent cells. as mean that if a parent cell have 46 number of the chromosome then the daughter cell will also have the 46 46 number of the chromosomes this is known as the mitosis so if somebody ask you that what is a mitosis then basically mitosis is that a parent cell used to produce the two daughter cells which are totally resembling to their parent cells In the way like let's suppose if the parents cell have 46 number of the chromosomes then the daughter cells will also have the 46 number of the chromosomes the daughter cells are totally identical copy of the parent cell and this is known as a mitosis we already have discussed about the cell cycle in detail we have discussed about the interphase now we are going to move towards the m phase that is a mitotic phase Basically in the M phase the cell have further divided into two phases This phase is known as a karyokinesis The karyo means nucleus So in nucleus there is a changes or the division in the nucleus So karyokinesis karyo means nucleus so the changes occurs in the nucleus is known as a karyokinesis while the next one is known as a cytokinesis the cyto means cytoplasm so the division of the cytoplasm is known as a cytokinesis well the cytokinesis is further divided into many phases like prophase prometaphase metaphase anaphase and telophase while well, in this video we are only going to discuss about the prophase well students in the prophase what used to happen in the prophase the first thing is that the thread like structure of the dna is going to condense itself and will form the chromosome As you know that before prophase there was a S phase in which there was a duplication of the chromosomes so that's why the two sister chromatin chromosome will produce because in S phase there is already duplication of the sister chromatin used to occur so the thread like structure in the prophase is going to condense itself and will form the chromosome so students After they condense, the thread-like structure is going to condense into the chromosome. The other main thing which is going to happen in the chromosome is that the centrioles, if you remember, it will be called the centrosome. That is present which side of the nucleus. In the chapter number 4, you have learned, if you remember, that you have learned about the centrioles. There are two centrioles present in the cell and together these centrioles are known as a centrosome. Well, in the prophase what will happen? These centrosomes will duplicate itself. Duplicate itself and will form the daughter centrosomes. Daughter a pair of the centrioles. students keep in your mind a pair of the centrioles will be known as a centrosome 
so this pair of the centriole or the centrosome is going to duplicate itself they are going to duplicate itself and this duplicated chromosome will form the opposite side will move to the opposite side of the nucleus so this will move to the opposite side of the nucleus as well as the thread like structure that is present inside the nucleus will condense itself and will form the chromosome the next most important thing which is going to happen is that the nuclear envelope or the nuclear uh, nuclear membrane around the centriole or around the chromosomes will be removed out the nuclear membrane or the nuclear envelope will degenerate and this chromosome or the centriole will become in the center of the cell students when the nuclear envelope or membrane is going to degenerate these chromosomes will arrange themselves in the center of the cell now what is basically the roles of these two centrosomes these two centrosomes are going to form the microtubules these microtubules are known as a spindle fiber these centrosomes are going to form the microtubule and how these microtubes are going to form these microtubules are going to form by the help of the protein known as a tubulin if you remember we have learned in the chapter number 4 the cell used to contain a protein that is known as a tubulin these centrosomes with the help of the tubulin protein will start forming the microtubules the tubulin protein will join and form the microtubules and these microtubules are known as a spindle fiber this spindle fiber will attach with the kinetochore protein that is present with the centromere of the centrosome sorry of the centromere of the chromosome this spindle fibers are going to attach with the kinetochore protein the kinetochore protein if you remember i have taught you in the last video that the kinetochore protein is used to present in the centromere this is the kinetochore protein this spindle fibers are going to attach with the kinetochore protein of the chromosome and collectively these fibers are known as the mitotic fiber hope so you understand it very clearly what we have learned up till now this centrosome are going to produce the microtubules by the help of the protein known as a tubular protein the microtubes are going to perform going to form by the joining of the tubulin these microtubules will be known as a spindle fiber this spindle fiber will attach with the kinetochore protein of the chromosome and collectively it is known as the mitotic phase what well, students these steps are going to happen in the prophase in the mitosis we have learned that the two total cells are going to produce the mitosis have the four phases in the karyokinesis kinetokinesis that is a prophase metaphase anaphase and the telophase well the separation of the cell or the division of the cytoplasm is known as a cytokinesis what will happen after the interphase you have learned in detail what is going to happen in the interphase after the interphase the cell used to move towards the mitotic phase and the first phase of the mitotic phase is the prophase now what is going to happen in the prophase basically the chromatin which is already duplicate in the s phase is going to condense itself into the chromosome and having the sister chromatin this red color is basically the kinetochore protein the first thing is that the nuclear membrane is going to remove out and centrosome and the chromosomes are going to spread in the cell the centrioles will start producing the microtubules and these microtubules are going to form by the 
by the help of the tubulin protein that is present in the cell and this will be known as the spindle fiber and together they are known as the mitotic spindles students in the prophase not only the nuclear membrane or nuclear envelope is going to remove but the nucleolus that is present inside the nucleus is also going to degenerate this nucleolus will also be removed out and the nuclear membrane will also be removed out or degenerate well student this was basically about the prophase in the animal if you remember about the plant cell that plant cells do not contain the centrioles if the plant cells do not contain the centrioles the plant cells do not contain the centrioles then how they form the spindle fiber let me to tell you how this happened the first and the most important thing is that you have learned about the plant cell that the plant cell have a large vacuole in the center so for the cell division first the nucleus is going to move toward the center of the cell the nucleus is going to move in the center of the cell when the nucleus will reach in the center of the cell now what will happen all the tubulin protein that is present inside the cell in the prophase 1 they will move towards the nuclear envelope and this tubulin protein will attach or will collect itself on the nuclear membrane and this will form the spindle fiber this will form the microtubule instead of the centrioles the centrioles are absent in the plant cells so tubular protein that is present in the cytoplasm will collect their self on the membrane on the nuclear membrane well that's all for if you anything is not clear to you you can comment me i will give your answer inshallah if you have any issue you have students see the video again make the notes and send me the audio hope so you get that and you have enjoyed the video jazakallah khair assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh